we want to consider annuities and uh, we are going to look at uh, the there are two uh, areas that we want to look at the first area is what we call the present value and under the present value we want to look at uh, the first part when payment is made at the end of the month payment at end of the month and so basically what we are saying is that uh, there is an amount that's being made at the end of every month until the end of the time period so that's the amount all that is being made at the uh, end of every month which is per annum so for monthly interest rate will be be indicated as i which is r over 12. so that is the information and the time period is t is t years and uh, since uh, uh, we are looking at it from an annual point of view then the number of months we have will be n which will be 12 times t so the number of months that you'll be using will be uh, uh, that this is monthly deposit that is being made and that is what we are referring to as R. So the, the monthly deposits or sometimes it could be payments will be denoted by R. So since we have uh, been able to briefly explain our notations, we want now to go ahead uh, using that timeline that you've been given here to compute the present value. So what you're going to do is you are going to discount the amounts of the, the present values that we have. And uh, that will go on until the time i plus uh, n because they are n time periods and this if i let v be equals to 1 plus 1 plus i then my present value becomes v r plus v squared r squared plus v cubed r cubed all the way plus v n r n so that's the equation that I have, and uh, that's my first equation. So what I'm going to do is uh, I want to get to develop a general formula from this. And so what I'll do is I'm going to multiply this with 1 over V. And that gives me R plus V R squared plus V squared R cubed all the way plus v n minus 1 l n so i have two equations and uh what basically i'm going to do is i'm going to subtract to subtract both of them so pv minus 1 over v uh, it's not very clear there um minus 1 over v pv is equals to uh, here uh, sorry there is no uh, there was a mistake and I'm going to to clean up the R is not squared R is not squared R is not to power n it's just R that's a mistake sorry for that so it will be V R 
minus vr so those two r doesn't have a partner in the first equation so it will be minus r so vr and vr will cancel v squared r minus v squared r will cancel and then here we also have v n minus 1 r is here it will cancel with this so i will left with v n r so that is what I'll be left with. And I want to rewrite that equation. PV is equals to R VN minus 1 divided by 1 minus 1 over V. And so what do we know? We know that, uh, uh, recall that uh, V is equals to 1 over 1 plus i so therefore 1 over v will be equals 1 plus i so then 1 minus 1 over v is 1 minus 1 minus i and 1 minus 1 will give me 0 so the lower part then will be easily done and that takes me to the next point and that gives me R 1 over 1 plus I raised to power N minus 1 divided by, by minus I. Be given by 1 minus 1 plus I raised to power minus N and then divide by I times R. What happened? Remember, this is a negative sign, so if I multiply here, this becomes negative here, and this side becomes positive, and that's how this becomes. This is the present value when payment at the end, when payment is made at the end of the month. Payment or deposit at the beginning, at the beginning of the month. There will be a slight difference at the beginning of the month. Of the month. What changes? Basically, what changes is uh, first of all, R starts there. And if this is the end point, the last R will be there. I'm going to use the same parameters, uh, use uh, the, the same. So, my present value will basically be R plus RV because remember this is my first R this is R then this one period this is the next one two periods and then the last one will be VN minus one it won't be VN because if you start here and you make the periods it will be VN minus one because until here it is until n. So this is n minus 1. This is n minus 1, and that is n. So if I multiply it through with v, it will be v, it will be rv plus rv squared plus rv cubed all the way plus rvn. Remember, here we also have rvn minus 1. So, what am I going to do? I want to subtract them. So, if I say PV minus VPV is equals to R. So, RV minus RV, RV squared minus that. And then this one will be minus RVN. Because unpleasant value will be equals to 1 minus V raised to the power N uh, divided by my 1 minus V. And we know what happens uh, from there, uh, from the knowledge we have so far, uh, we can subtract. Uh, 1 minus V is the same as 1 minus 1 over 1 plus I. Um, I want to write it in terms of I. If I make 1 plus I this, the, the LCM, so it will be 1 plus I minus 1, which is I over 1 plus I. So then this becomes, so I'll divide with 
i over 1 plus i, so it is 1 plus i. 1 minus 1 plus i raised to the power minus n. Uh, everything divide by i times r. And so the future value, the present value and the future value tends to go together. This is a payment or deposit at end of the month. So what happens there? Uh, we can find out. So in the deposit at the end of the month, so I'm assuming we are also depositing an amount R, I'll be using the same notation. We just need to keep in mind what we are basically doing, that we are doing a deposit. And so the future value is uh, something that will change slightly. So we want to start off by moving this to the future. So I'll move this to the future here. So it is R, V. How many Ns? Because here there are N of them, it will be N minus 1 plus... No, sorry, we are not discounting. What we are doing is that uh, we are taking it to, we are compounding it to n minus 1. Uh, R, 1 plus i, n minus 2, all the way plus r. Yes, you could have written it the other way, but I've done it for the purpose. Because the first one will be that one. The second one, the time period will be shorter. The third one, the time will be more shorter. And the last time period, there will be no compounding at all. So that's what happens. And uh, again, we want to use the same approach, the same algebra that we have applied. I can multiply with i plus 1, 1 plus i, the future value, which will give me r. 1 plus i raised to the power n plus n, 1 plus i, n minus 1, all the way plus r, 1 plus i, 1 plus i. Remember here there is also r, 1 plus i, n minus 2. I'm doing that for the purpose of being able to see where it's coming from. So I'm going to subtract the two equations future value, uh, the top one, minus the lower one, 1 plus high future value. Up here and down here, this minus 1, n to power minus 1 has its partner, but this one doesn't have, so it's minus n, 1 plus i, this to power n. And then r plus 1 is here, R1 plus I is here. So this one doesn't have a partner. So it will be left as R. As just like the similar case that we had for the future value. Future value, it will be 1 minus 1 minus I is equals to R. 1 minus 1 plus I is to power N. So when you subtract everything, I'll be left with future value. This will be negative i, and when I come with it to this other side, things will change. It will become 1 plus i, less to power n, minus 1, times r, divided by i. So that will give me the future value when deposit is made at the end of the month the future value when deposit is at the beginning of the month beginning of the month so what happens things 
uh, change slightly, but again, always keep in mind the best way to understand this is to draw the timeline. So we are making deposit, deposit, deposit. And if that is the end time, the last one is there. So the future value, again, this one will go until... Now it will not go until n minus 1. It will take 1, 2, all the way until n. So it will be r, 1 plus i, less power n, plus r, 1 plus i, less power n minus 1, all the way plus r, 1 plus i. 1 plus i because there is a time period of one year, one month for the last time period. So what I do is I can either increase or decrease. So I can divide the future value by 1 plus i. So this becomes 1 plus i and minus 1 plus r, 1 plus i and minus 2 all the way plus r. And so again, v is equals to, so I can say this is v times f of v is equals to, we are subtracting, so it is r, 1 plus i, least to power n, this one, this and this will cancel, that will, that and cancel, this will cancel here, then minus r, that one does not have a partner. So future value is equals to, 1 plus i raised to the power n minus 1 over 1 minus v times r. Takes us to the point of uh, having an equation of 1 plus i. If you wish, you can write it times i. Then you have 1 plus i raised to the power n minus 1 times r.